Hello everybody, welcome to the Impressive Channel. According to some reports from Daily Mail, things are not looking too good for Wendy Williams. Now, Wendy has been dealing with quite a lot, especially within the past few months. On her show, she broke down and revealed to her studio audience and to the world that she was living in a sober house because her addiction to prescription pills and alcohol got so extreme that she had to seek some intervention. Now, it looks like things are getting worse for Wendy because Daily Mail is actually saying that Wendy relapsed and the reason why she relapsed is because she heard that her husband Kevin Hunter got his side chick of 10 years pregnant and not only that his side chick Sharina Hudson gave birth to a baby girl last week now this news was first reported from unwind with tasha k and it actually picked up on major news circuits including e news people daily mail and page six so this was a really really big story yesterday and not only that people noticed that wendy williams was not wearing her wedding ring and you know wendy she loves to flaunt her wedding ring around it's a huge nice big rock i don't know how much it's worth but it looks like it's worth a pretty penny but yes this is one of the few times that we have seen Wendy walk out of the house in public without wearing her wedding ring and so that did raise a lot of questions wait a minute is Wendy officially dropping her husband Kevin after finding out that he had the audacity to knock up his side chick is Wendy finally leaving her husband after realizing that she's gonna have to be a stepmother to the child of a woman that she hates who child this is just a hot greasy mess it's just too much it's too much now this news has really affected wendy to the point that she allegedly relapsed again now according to the daily mail wendy williams was taken to the hospital after she was found drunk she got drunk after learning that her husband knocked up his side chick and had a baby with her a source told the daily mail that she was found in a bad way she disappeared from the studio after her show on monday and she went back to the sober house only to check herself out and she decided to start drinking and it got so bad that her team had to take her to the hospital to get her sobered up now it's not clear where she went but she headed in the direction of her home in jersey and managed to find some alcohol along the way the word got back to the studio and there was panic and concern and everyone was looking for her and wondering if she was going to return and film her show she was eventually found and when they found her she was drunk out of her mind and they took her to the hospital to get some help when she was hospitalized, she was given a bag of IV fluids containing vitamins and minerals to help clear out her system and sober her up. So Wendy almost lost it all, all because of her husband, his side chick, and their new baby. And honestly, I don't know how many times I could say this, but Wendy needs to leave her husband. If she really wants to live at this point, she needs to leave him because clearly this has been emotionally physically and mentally draining for her to be in a marriage as toxic as this it's so bad that she's abusing alcohol and drugs just to cope that's not healthy at all that's not healthy at all i don't know if her self-esteem is low and she feels like she can't do better i don't know if her husband kevin has a lot of dirt on her and she's afraid to leave him because he'll expose her i don't know what it is i don't know if she's scared to leave because her husband kevin has been allegedly abusing her for years so she might be scared to leave who knows but the situation right now isn't good for wendy because she's so fragile and she's willing to harm herself over her husband's shenanigans i don't get it i don't get what is keeping her in this marriage wendy strikes me as a person who's very broken very insecure and she's too prideful to let go of her marriage because i think in her mind she feels like if she leaves her husband the mistress will win so she's still fighting for something that's not there her husband doesn't love her clearly her husband does not care it's clear to me that he loves sharina more than he loves wendy even wendy's old co-host charlemagne who's guilty of actually introducing sharina to kevin claimed that kevin got mad at him for trying to hook sharina up with another man so that lets you know that kevin is very possessive of sharina and i think it's because he's crazy but also i think it's because he loves her 
the reason I don't I don't deal with uh, the hunters anymore. Why? Like because the, of Sharina? Yeah, the reason I don't You de- introduced them. Uh, listen, though. The reason I don't deal with Kevin and Wendy anymore is because Kevin thought that I was trying to hook Sharina up with wax back in 2009. Mind you, she liked wax, so I had nothing to do with that. But he thought I was trying to hook Sharina up with wax. And, and he that, was married at this time to Wendy. Of course. And that's why he stopped dealing with me. So I don't know what he told Wendy. That's why I never really be mad at Wendy. I don't know what he told Wendy because it's not like he said to her, hey, Charlamagne tried to hook my side chick up with his homeboy. Well, you never reached out to Wendy and was like, I don't know what's wrong between us. And Wendy ain't got no phone or no email. She what you mean? She phone. That sounds crazy. She ain't no phone. How did she get her information for her show? How did she call? She got a staff, I'm, ass- I'm assuming. How did she call a- home? <laughs> I have no idea. No. That's why she might be screaming out for help right now. We have no idea. To me, that sounds like an abusive relationship. But anyway, even with all the mess and scandals going on in Wendy's marriage, she's still trying to convince the public that everything is well between her and Kevin. It's some sort of weird story going around the internet regarding my husband. Now look, I'm a straight shooter, pow pow. You can believe what you want, but all is well in Hunterville. Don't believe the hype. And if there was hype, believe me, you. I would let you know. I want to shout out to my husband. I'm still wearing my ring. I know what you've been seeing. And I knew what the streets have been talking about. Marriages have ebbs and flows. Marriages are not easy. Don't ask me about mine until you see this gone. And it ain't going anywhere. Not in this lifetime. Contrary to what Wendy wants us to believe, things are definitely not going well in her marriage and she's been trying to keep up appearances for years, but it's gotten to the point that everybody knows her business and it's embarrassing now. I am disappointed in Wendy Williams because of the hypocrisy of it all. And let me be clear, I have, and I've said this before, I have never had a story been walked back on me because we have direct sources. And you can take that however you want to take it. That means that somebody is in real close vicinity to the T. Otherwise, I wouldn't be putting my my name and my reputation in jeopardy. Right. So she's self-medicating, from what I heard. Allegedly. Allegedly. And also that her husband, mistress, is now allegedly pregnant with a child. Right. And somebody on the internet said that this isn't the first time that he may or may not have gotten her pregnant. Correct. And I report things that I hear from trusted sources. I, these sources have been with me damn near 15 years. Mm-hmm. And you mean to tell me they're going to be right about everybody else's sh- Everybody <laughs> else's tea? But they're just wrong about it's yours. It's wrong about yours. Oh, somehow they're wrong about Wendy's tea. And all of it's wrong. Right. Even though you then went on TV the next week and apologized for slurring your words. Because you were high on pain medications because you broke your shoulder. Right. But either way, you admitted to medicating. medicating. You're sp- you Worry about your husband, not me. F*** off. Sick of her. Well, I, I don't did. like talking about husbands, right, Wendy? Well, I don't mind talking about husbands. I don't mind. He's fabulous. You see how everybody called her out? It's embarrassing that the Hot Topics lady is a Hot Topic herself, and everybody knows her life is in shambles. It's really embarrassing. Wendy needs to really move on because there's no reason to make things work at this point. Her rusty husband done slipped up and had a whole baby outside of the marriage, or as she would like to call it, an oops baby. So I got to pull up in Aspen, from Haiti to Aspen to California, I'm all over the place. And then to the oops baby. <laughs> oh, oh, the disrespect! No, I, the oops and I was wondering. Oh, you're not going to pull out a chart on me, are you? No. Ooh, child. When I look back on that clip on how she called Nick's baby, his son, an oops baby, I just shake my head. And I really believe Wendy received some karma for disrespecting Nick's family like that. Karma is really an old, dirty hack. I mean, just mean and nasty. And now Wendy is facing her own karma because her husband slipped up and had an oops baby. So she has to deal with that, which is very sad. But I do wish her well. I do wish that she gets back on track with her sobriety because that is very important right now and that should be Wendy's main focus. And she also needs to leave her trifling husband. Anyway, tell me what you all think about this video down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe and share this video if you care. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.